A fire broke out Tuesday afternoon at Playworld in Lewisburg towards the rear of the building. Upon the units arriving, we had heavy fire through the roof and a large volume of smoke through the roof and out the bay doors that were opened up. The facility did have everybody evacuated. At this time, everybody's accounted for uh, with that. We have multiple companies from multiple counties uh, here operating with us today uh, at that time. So we have two reported injuries. Um, on the scene, don't appear to be life threatening. We were being taken care of by medical providers. On the scene. Those injuries to first responders? First responders. After about an hour and a half at the scene, multiple explosions could be heard inside the building, causing firefighters to be evacuated. Yeah, when it happened, uh, due, due to the unknown conditions inside the building, um, with that, we evacuated everybody once the fire got out of the roof. We were told that there was a collapse of the roof, um, so we immediately pulled everybody out um, at that time. With that, some of the explosions you were hearing inside, um, working with facility representatives on scene, um, they appeared that they were propane tanks, maybe on four foot trucks, things like that. Um, early on into the scene, we had utilities secured to natural gas. There is oxygen and nitrogen, uh, large storage tanks on site, which were secured as well um, in working uh, with that. So cause of the fire is uh, not known at this time, um, but obviously there's extensive damage to the building. So we've been working very closely with uh, the Play World representatives administration and facility to help us you know, basically guide through this process. So there's several firewalls, um, several fire doors, things of that nature, um, but we've been working hand in hand with Playworld um, to help help get this thing extinguished and make sure everybody is safe. What, what type of materials might be burning in there and how does that, how does that um, influence your attack? Um, there could, there's several different materials from uh, cardboard containers, um, with that, there is the, the vinyl dipping machines for the products. Um, so there's a, a wide variety of different materials um, inside the building, um, from pla class A's to class B's um, with that. Um, we also add, with the possibility of the natural gas that runs the facility and, and some of the other gases that do run in the facility, um, brought a, a different aspect to it as well. So it is, it is pretty challenging um, with the size of the building how deep the fire was located inside of the building um, to get hand lines and, and things in place um, and working with that. So it's kind of just been a step-by-step -step process working through. Have you had people inside doing interior? Yes, uh, we have people inside. We initially started with inside uh, interior attacks or operation, then we switched to a defensive operation at that point in time. So we have five aerial trucks working um, on the fire at this time. We have three different water supplies secured and supplying water into the scene um, with that. So we just wanted to get a large bulk of the fire and stuff knocked down in a defensive operation. And here as we transition things in, um, we're gonna go back in and where it's safe to get in, we're gonna do uh, offensive or handline operations.